nothing is made from scratch. Everything that exists in the universe started in a state of disorder, like a dirty kitchen, a messy garage, or a rotting bathroom. And only as a result of process improvements and maintenance, we now have reliable, durable, useful products and services, beautiful buildings, parks, cities. Surely the first apple pie ever made was chaotic and not good at all. But over time and practice, everything improves. And that's what I do as an engineer, to improve and make things simple, easy and predictable in quality and results. And this wonderful apple pie is a perfect example. Enjoy it. Step one is making the perfect dough. The first ingredient is butter and has to be cold. This is butter out of the fridge. You cut it in small pieces and then you add sugar. It's about 75 grams of sugar. And we use a potato press or spatula that help us maintain the body temperature stable. So never use your hands. Now we add one egg. Uh, this is a fresh egg out of the fridge. So basically all this maintains a, a very good temperature that allows the ingredients to mix properly. Next ingredients are one teaspoon of baking powder and one teaspoon of vanilla. Most of the ingredients are natural, are organic, even the vanilla, the flour is also organic, uh, milk, salt, we add a pinch, this is a Himalayan salt. So the idea is to add the ingredients one by one and to make sure they are properly mixed with the dough. We are adding now the first cup of flour. And as you can see, all the working environment is very clean. So rule number one is clean as you go. This recipe has been refined over several years. I remember the first time I did it, it was very chaotic and messy. The next ingredient is milk. This is fresh milk out of the fridge. It's about four tablespoons and if you see that the dough needs to be more plastic, more steady, you can add two more. And you will see that later in the, in the process. Uh, we are now continuing with the flour. This is the second cup. And you will see that all the ingredients are added carefully, uh, step by step, one by one. So then you have good control of the process. As I said, initially uh, this apple pie was very messy, uh, but over the years it has become so easy and convenient for me. Uh, it's something that you can learn in this video. Keep your area clean, clean as you go, one by one you will learn to really make this process very easy and fun and the result will be always predictable. So the final step is to cover the dough with plastic wrap and let it rest in the fridge for about 30 minutes. And this concludes the dough process. Don't forget rule number one clean as you go and you're going to keep your work environment clean and tidy. Step two is making the pie filling and the rule number two here is reduce waste. So as you can see we're not wasting anything. We're peeling the apples and we're saving the peels for an apple juice. I've been drinking apple juice every day for the last few years. It's an amazing nutritional 
juice that basically helps you with fiber, nutrients, vitamins, and better than everything is helps you sleep very well. Never had a sleep problems ever since I started drinking apple juice every day. Once the apple are finished and peeled, the next step is cutting the apples. As you can see, I'm using an, a cutter, but you can use a knife as long as the pieces are small and uniform. So again, rule number two is reduce waste. So we're saving all the apple cores because that's going to be also part of the ingredients for the apple juice. I normally do apple juice once a month and I put it in small containers in the freezer. Put it out the night before and the next day the juice is ready. We're going to use this pot to add the rest of the ingredients and then over low temperature we're going to mix everything evenly. We're going to start by squeezing half a lime all over the apple mix. This is going to help maintain the freshness of the apple and also the crispy texture. Next we're going to add one tablespoon of cornstarch, one teaspoon of cinnamon, and the final is one and a half cup of sugar. Now we're going to place the pot over low medium and we're going to gently stir the ingredients until everything is coated evenly. After a minute, make sure the stove is turned off and let the mix cool off. Preheat the oven at 350 degrees and then get ready to roll out the pie crust. Take the dough out of the fridge and use your hand to soften the dough. Cut it in half and start working on half of that. Try to roll up the dough and so what is important is to help the dough feel soft and ready for rolling out. Spread some of the flour over the working area and using the rolling pin, try to create a rectangle shape the size of the Pyrex where you're going to be baking the pie. Make sure to batter the Pyrex before placing the dough on the Pyrex. So about two thirds of the dough will be used to cover all areas of the Pyrex and then the rest will be used to finish up the top of the pie. Okay, once the apple base is finished, it's time to add the apple mix. Using a spatula, make sure to spread out the mix evenly. And also you can add some of the liquids. It's very good for maintaining the moist of the pie. You can add some of the juice, keep it nice and moist. And now work on the top layer of the pie crust. Again, try to make a rectangular shape, something that fits the same size of the top. Then place it on top of the Pyrex and then gradually seal the edges. And what we normally use is an egg that will help us glue the size and the edges of the pie. Also it brings a nice color on the top. And last but not least, make sure that the edges of the pie are not stuck on the Pyrex. Follow the instructions and you will find easier to complete the task at hand, whether you're working, studying, playing sports or baking. Instructions exist to prevent mistake, frustrations, and chaos. Attention to detail and the discipline to follow careful instructions is the key to success. 
They make life predictable, simple, and safe. This is one of the most important skills that applies to almost everything in life. The final step is bake with confidence. If you have followed the instructions by the book, all you have to do now is bake the apple pie for 50 minutes at 350 degrees and then let it rest at room temperature for three hours. Final step is put in the fridge for one hour and then you will have an amazing, perfect apple pie. Baking an apple pie combines science and art. It trains the mind to think, understand and follow instructions. When we do it wrong, it leads to disasters. But when we do it right, it leads to self-confidence, success, and happiness.